Hello, my name is Laura Diaz, and I am a reviewer for the ELR Bumble Numbers, which is found on funbrain.com slash brain slash math brain slash math brain dot html. Let's go take a look. Fun Brain offers a variety of fun, interactive ELRs that allow students to practice math and reading skills. Typing in the link above will lead you to the Fun Brain Math Arcade with several math games for grades 1st through 8th grade. Bumble Numbers, click on New to the Math Arcade, you wait for it to load, and then you select whether you are a boy or a girl, I'm a girl, and you select your skill level. I'm going to do fourth grade to start with. So this is a great way that Fun Brain automatically differentiates by providing a lot of different options for skill levels, first through eighth grade, and you get to choose whether you're a boy or a girl. And my game piece is going to be the wild card. The first game in the math arcade is called Bumble Numbers. Bumble Numbers involves a cute but busy bumblebee that needs to pollinate the flowers. It is the student's job to make the wind blow the dandelion seeds by clicking on the cloud and maneuver the bee to pick up and drop the right dandelion seed in the flower. Each flower has a different math equation in it and each dandelion seed has an answer to it. The problems get more difficult with each grade level. The game provides challenge in a safe environment because there is always the opportunity to start over and try again. Bubble Numbers is a great exercise to practice mental math with addition and subtraction from grades 1st through 8th. The directions are very clear and understandable for both students and the teacher at all grade levels. Here's the first page of instructions. How to play. If you make two incorrect guesses, you'll lose the game. Make six matches to win the game and watch out for dragonflies in round two. So here's our little bumblebee friend. You move him by moving the mouse. Let's move him over to the cloud and see what happens. I grabbed the number 99. What equation matches with 99? Let's try this one. It's correct. And the number drops into the flower, the flower disappears, and stars come out of the flower. 98. What would happen if I got it wrong? Oh no! I got a big red X. And once you get all three, it says you won, and you get a password to go on to the next game in the math arcade. And the point of the game is to practice. The game allows enough time for the student to calculate the answer to each solution before having to determine each flower's matching answer. <coughs> the student is in charge. This game does not really offer constructive feedback because if I get it wrong, a big red X comes up and it doesn't tell me the right answer. I have to solve it for myself. If I keep getting it wrong, the game is over. However, it encourages you to play again. Hello again. Bumble Numbers provides a great way to meet the California standards and supports the environment of a classroom by providing a safe but challenging place for the students to learn. Bumble Numbers also provides a way for students to keep record of their progress. It is definitely reasonably priced. It is free. Yay. The spelling and grammar are also correct, which is a definite plus. Bumble number seems like the perfect ELR. It's multimedia, multi-sensory, it's got scaffolding and differentiation, and it's really fun to play. And the students get to practice at math and learn how to persevere through tough problems altogether. I would definitely recommend Bumble Numbers as a great activity for teachers to use with their students. Play Bumble Numbers and get better at math. Bumble Numbers may seem like the perfect electronic learning resource. However, it does have some glitches. In the first and second grade levels, as you can see, it shows the wrong answers um, by the dandelion seeds. 3,476 is not the answer to 4 minus 2, 3 plus 4, or 
8 minus 4. Thanks for watching a presentation on a great electronic learning resource called Bubble Numbers, another production of the UCSB Teacher Education Program. Thank you.